at low tide. When the tide goes out near Gerhardt, that's a nice one there. People stop, pound, and march across the sand. They're after razor clams. Mm -hmm. Probably about ten, at least. Now about five more. Uh huh. And then I'll have my limit. This spring is one of the best seasons in years, but not everyone plays by the rules. They're going to be good eaters. Yeah, there goes the uh, lady in the white sweatshirt. The woman who's digging doesn't have a license. Yeah, That's required. Plus, she's digging clams for someone else. There she got the clam. He's walking over to her. You can see her hand them off. Both are violations. Nearby, OSP volunteers Jim Kelly and Jim Anderson caught the scene on tape. And that's just less clams that's going to be available to anybody else. Two people digging for one is not the same as one digging for one. Just not fair. Just not fair, yeah. Fair or not, it happens a lot. He just handed off uh, three very discreetly. This man already has his limit of 15, but he keeps digging more clams. He leaves them so his partner can pick them up. Okay, now he just passed a clam. You see that? Yep. Yeah. We caught up with the two men. The officers tell me that if everybody is doing this, we got a serious problem. Yeah, what do you say to folks? Well, that didn't make sense. We should a citation today for digging clams for another individual, okay? Officer Tim Schwartz issues a citation that'll cost the man $150. Okay. Thank you, sir. Schwartz says the clam abundance has been matched with more violations than ever. Did you lose count out there, or am I counting wrong? Especially by people keeping more than they're allowed. There's just one over your limit? Not paying attention, or...? <laughs> Not paying attention, I guess. Do you ever feel like you're babysitting these clam beds? Basically, that's what we're doing. Recently, OSP stepped up their enforcement on razor clammers along the Clatsop beaches. Looks like it has quite a few clams. In one day, they checked 230 clam diggers. Of those, 75, more than 30 percent, were cited for violations. Biologists say that's a higher rate of violations than any other Oregon fishing or hunting activity. Harvest ethics just kind of go out the window, and sometimes people just have a hard time knowing when to stop. And they watched you dig quite a few clams today. Down the beach, we stopped in with a woman we watched earlier. While her husband did have a license, she admits she didn't know the rules. You don't have a license? I don't, know. No. Did you know you needed one? Yes, that's why I didn't get a limit. My limit. I was just helping him. Report now person. we know. It's yours. Now she'll get a citation, too, a reminder that if you participate, you must know the okay, rules. Thanks. All right, folks. In Clatsop County, Grant McComey, KGW News Channel 8. Biologists estimate that up to 2 million razor clams will be harvested from Clatsop County beaches this spring. Oregon Fish and Wildlife has prepared a list of easy-to-understand rules for razor clamming. You can learn more by visiting KGW.com. Go to the sports section and click on Outdoors.